let's say you want to send a spacecraft to another another star. You have to, and you want to do it in a human lifetime, all right? You don't want to wait tens of thousands of years. So what are you going to do? You have to get this spacecraft going really, really, really fast. The smaller you can make the spacecraft, the faster you can get it to go for the same amount of energy. So if I'm, if I'm going to spend some energy, if I'm going to, you know, spend some joules here, the smaller the spacecraft, the more oomph I get and the faster I can get it to go. If I want the spacecraft to carry its own energy source, its own fuel, then that's going to add weight and that's going to make it bigger. So maybe the best option is to offload the source of fuel, like put all the fuel, all the energy over here. So the spacecraft is just the spacecraft. Um, I guess the challenge here is you have to get the energy from your energy source to the spacecraft, which is slowly getting further away. I won't keep you in suspense. One way to do this is lasers. That's right, light. Light carries energy. Well, it's, it's kind of like how plants eat, is by absorbing energy that was sent by the sun. So light can carry energy. It can transmit energy from one place to another. And the, the most concentrated way to do this is through lasers. So this is the basic, basic, basic idea behind what you may have what uh it's called uh the breakthrough star shot initiative like it's it's a design it's a it's an idea it's a sketch to send spacecraft to the nearest stars and the general overview is very very tiny spacecraft very very giant laser make it happen get to another star the lasers are going to stay on the ground you know or in space but let's keep them on the ground for now and they're going to shoot their radiation, shoot that energy on this tiny spacecraft and going to make that spacecraft accelerate. <laughs> How this works <laughs> is instead of just vaporizing the spacecraft is the spacecraft contains a solar sail. It contains a highly, highly reflective membrane and light carries momentum. It has energy, it has momentum, it light bounces off things, and when it bounces off things, it pushes it a little bit. So if you've got a solar sail, a very, very reflective thing, and you're shooting a laser at it, that will make the solar sail go. It will push it, and it will carry this spacecraft. And it's not a bad idea. You know, as interstellar spacecraft ideas go, it, it's 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 up there. It's up there in terms of reasonableness. In order to make Starshot work, in order to make it reach, say, Proxima Centauri in forty years, going a tenth the speed of light, you need a lot of lasers because lasers aren't very good at pushing things. Light doesn't. It does have momentum, but not a lot. So you got to work really, really hard. You have to have a lot of lasers shooting at this thing. If your spacecraft weighs a gram, okay, just, just throwing a number out there, like around a gram, including the light sail, including all the electronics, including the camera, including communication gear, including a battery, like all the, everything you want in the spacecraft, if it weighs a gram, and if your laser has an output, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to make this into a rant. Uh, I, I'll i tell you in advance, I don't think the Starshot idea is really going to work in our lifetimes. But I just, I, I want to explain the physics. So I'm trying my best. I promised myself I wouldn't turn this into a rant and I wouldn't laugh about it too much as I was talking about it. So if, you're, if your spacecraft is a gram and you have 100 gigawatts of lasers shooting at that one gram spaceship and you shoot it at it for about 10 minutes you will get that spacecraft up to the speed of light or sorry sorry a tenth the speed of light 100 gigawatts of lasers that's the entire energy output of all the nuclear reactors in the united states operating at the same time right next to each other and sending 100% of that energy with no losses, with you know 100% efficiency, into a whole bunch of lasers to make one mega laser. All the nuclear power in the United States 
captured 100% efficiently and turned into laser beams. How much force does this give you? You might wonder, like, if you were if you were a solar sail and 100 gigawatts of lasers uh, would shoot at you. You know, if you've carried a backpack with like a few books in it, imagine, you know, and you feel the weight of that backpack on your shoulder with just a few books in it. Like it's heavy, but not like burning some. That force of that backpack is about the same amount of force as 100 gigawatts of lasers. So if you had a spacecraft, a a one gram spacecraft, throwing like baseballs at it gives you more oomph than the laser does. Yeah, instantaneously, but it's hard to like throw the baseball up into space. The the laser just kind of goes into space automatically. That's why we chose the laser. One gram, by the way, so, you know, okay, 100 gigawatts, a little bit of force, but we have a very light spacecraft. What is one gram? One gram is a paperclip. A paperclip. That's the mass of a paperclip. So Starshot, if, if we're able to figure out this whole laser thing, which would be the most powerful laser array ever conceived in all of humanity by many orders of magnitude, and we dealt with all the heat issues and all the pointing issues and dealing with the atmosphere and making sure no one turns it into an evil weapon to destroy the Earth, you know, sidebar discussion. If we were to do that, we could launch paperclips to other stars. I suppose that's interesting and fun to do as like a little weekend hobby of launching paperclips to other stars. Instead, we want to spend spacecraft, but spacecraft, you know, like I said, need a computer, need a battery, need a camera, need a shell, need the light sail itself. So all that. So that that itself is a massive engineering challenge of how do you make a gram spacecraft that actually operates as a spacecraft? I'm not saying it's impossible. That's not where I'm going with this. I'm saying the engineering and technical and scientific challenges to make this work are huge. I'm personally not going to hold my breath waiting for, you know, around the corner for the Starshot initiative to just happen. And like, okay, we got our laser, we got our spacecraft. Even the initial investment in this project of $100 million, that's just to just try to design sketches and prototypes of the spacecraft itself. That's going to cost $100 million. That won't even get a spacecraft. That'll get designs and ideas towards the spacecraft. How much is it going to cost? Like a billion, 10 billion? Like it's, it's, it's an expensive thing. Do we have enough money? Do we have enough resources? Do we have enough will for it? I don't know. Will we in 100 years? Will we in 1,000 years? I honestly don't know. But talking about the challenges is pretty fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go to patreon.com slash pmsutter to help me help you learn more about the universe. See how that works? It's a, it's a fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade science.